Good morning, everyone. My poem is called Strong. From the moment I was born, my father called me son. He robbed me from the very essence of being a daughter. As a child, I grew up receiving lessons on how to be a woman when I was still called son. I grew up and got my first job. Sure, my father was proud, but all of that pride was for the son and none for the daughter. But why? First day of my work, I'm excited. But I should have looked forward to something else, perhaps. They sit there in a group of two or three and call me names. I avoid just like I've been told. And they start to play their games. They push me to the ground, they hold my collar, and what happened next? Oh, that's not even bother. They tore my clothes, they touched my parts which I did not adore. I shouted, I screamed, I resisted. Should I say more? What should I call the day? My fate? Was it my destiny? Oh wait! Oops! It's my fault. I was scarred. I saw my world flash before my eyes and I was all alone. Some looked at me with sympathy, others with disgust. But all of them were I stood at the front door of my home with the hope of getting love and comfort that none had shown. Oh, I still remember the horrid look on their faces, how my mother went pale, how my father lowered his gazes in shame and called me, oh, daughter. A walking temple in my home, my world confined to the four corners of my room. I realized that I had to stand up, I had to fight, but this only added a new chapter to my plight. I went to the doctor for examination. I had no knowledge that I'd be greeted by the questions. Was it late? What were you wearing? What were you thinking? You who? Nobody cared to ask how I feel. After being labeled a relentless whore at the police station, of course they did not say it out loud, I turned my gaze to justice. Oh, that mighty justice which I read about. Now life didn't give me a second chance, but justice sure gave them. Say, they were juveniles, or maybe it's just the never-ending trials. But be still, for I did not go empty-handed. I was given with the overnight fame, which gave me a spotlight in the headings of the newspapers that read another woman raped. It was astonishing to see how my country united with one night and hold postcards and demanded for the justice that perhaps I would never receive. Where was your unity when the airs were filled with my screams? Where was that unity when I did not have enough strength to spare? Do not come down, do not come now holding those postcards. Do not come now lighting the fire. Do not let the light of hypocrisy shine bright on your face just after you have made me the symbol of a disgrace. 
All this time I stood alone. I know I'm scarred, but I am strong. I am India's daughter, and this is my story. Thank you.